Hey, it's Scott Bapte and welcome back to another recipe from my high protein kitchen. In this video, we are going to cook a banger of a curry in the slow cooker, hence the name banging beef curry. It's an absolute belter for cooking during the week. You just throw in some of the ingredients that you can easily find in your supermarket, pop the lid on, and then seven to eight hours later, you're going to have a delicious slow cooker filled with curry that's going to fill the kitchen with beautiful aromas, and most importantly, it tastes delicious. It's got about 37 grams of protein per serving, but again, you can make more or less. You can easily scale up the recipe if you want, if you have a really big slow cooker, or just reduce it if you have a smaller one and you don't want to cook as much. But I like following the recipe as is because I think that gives enough for the meal and also a few extra to go in the freezer. In the video, I cook some of the ingredients at the beginning before putting them into the slow cooker. This just gives them more flavor. But if you don't have time, you can easily just bung them straight into the slow cooker and pop the lid on. It's entirely up to you. But I think if you put a little bit more time and effort in at the beginning, you'll be rewarded with a tastier meal. Anyway, let's get cooking. This is slow cooker banging beef curry. So you're going to start off by chopping two onions and they're going to form the base of the sauce. I use white onion, but you could use red onion if you preferred, but it doesn't really make a huge difference. Once you've finally sliced two of them, then add them to the wok. I use coconut oil because I think it gives this curry a really delicious flavor, but if you don't particularly like it or you want to use something else, that's fine. Gently fry them for a couple of minutes until they start to soften and start smelling delicious. And then you want to add 50 grams of garlic and ginger paste. That's 25 grams of each. I always use a combined paste because it really saves a lot of time with prep. And I'll put a link to the jar that I use in the description below. It's a total winner, especially if you're making curry. It's what they use in Indian restaurants. Then add two tablespoons of curry powder and a teaspoon of garam masala. I use mild curry powder for this recipe because that means our three-year-old even eats this curry. So it's a real winner for the rest of the family. And then add 50 grams of tomato puree. Mix that through and cook it for a couple of minutes until you've got a paste. And then to that, you're going to add your kilo of lean diced beef mince. Mix all that through and cook it for a few more minutes until the beef starts to brown. And again, this is going to be smelling absolutely delicious at this point. And then once it's cooked through, once you've given it a few minutes and you can see it start to change color, then you just simply tip it into your slow cooker. Like I said at the start of the video, if you're short of time, you can just skip this cooking stage and put all of the raw ingredients into the slow cooker, but cooking it definitely gives it a lot more flavor. So I suggest you do that. Can you take a quick like break and hit that like button before we go any further? It really helps me out and it means you'll see more of these recipe videos in future. Once you've clicked the like button, then you add your uh, flour to the recipe. I'm just using plain flour, but you can use corn flour. It just helps to thicken it before you add 400 mils of coconut milk. Don't use light coconut milk in the slow cooker because it, the low fat content means it awfully splits and goes horrible and watery. So make sure it's the full fat stuff and mix all that through and then put the lid on it. You can cook it for seven to eight hours on low or about three to four hours on medium if you've got less time. But either way, it's going to smell absolutely delicious. For serving the curry, it depends on what your fitness goals are. You can have it as a low carb option or you can serve it with rice like I usually do. And if you've got some popdums or naan or mango chutney or any other condiments you want to add to it, just crack on, <laughs> do whatever you want. Um, garnish this with coriander and I use some chili flakes just to give it a bit more color. But again, it's entirely up to you. With these recipes, you've got a lot more flexibility than people think. So that's banging beef curry in the slow cooker. I hope you enjoy this recipe if you make it. As always, please do let me know your feedback in the comments below. Let me know if you've modified it, made any changes to improve it, or whatever you do, I like to hear from you guys who make it. Please do subscribe so you don't miss future videos. And the important thing as well is to also click that like button. This isn't to boost my ego, it just means you're more likely to see these recipes in the future. Thanks again, I look forward to sharing more with you soon.